Oh, oh, man. Yeah, it's clear enough. And then I've got some the temp here. And then I've got some choices here today. It's going to rain throughout the day, um, which is going to kind of be irritating, but I don't think it's really going to prevent any significant fishing. And that water is 46. So it's cooled off compared to what Shebs saw yesterday. 46. Oh, well, all right, folks. Well, finally get a chance to get out. I couldn't get out yesterday with Shebs, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, he was throwing bigger lures, so I'm going to go with this bigger 15 silver with a diamond body. And um, we'll see if we can find anybody interested in what we got. What today is going to be problematic, folks. There we go. He's out. But the first fish to hand is a big, fat 13 and a half. Oh, and he slapped me. All right. Uh, might as well get a measure on him. It looks 13 and a half. Yeah, he's 14. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, nice brown though. 12 inch or solid. Pretty fish. Make sure I'm on. Yeah, solid 12 inch brown there. There he goes. Okay. It's better. Brown. Gosh, I got a lot of snap in them. So on the ledges, just like Shebs yesterday. There's another guy just barely biting that outer lip. Oh, geez, they're strong, folks. That's another 13 inch brown, I would guess. He goes. 13 sure does and they are jacked up folks i mean they are fighting hard and i've got this silver light jobber with a yellow and red um, tail this one i can really let sink and float
opening nicely. Rookie, maybe? No, oh, it's just a little brown. Just a small 10 inch brown. That'll get me in no matter what. Remember folks, your net's not just for fishing. Your net is a useful tool out on the stream from everything from lure pickup to beating down a bear, whatever whatever might come up, you can handle it with your net. <laughs> Maybe. But what I'm gonna go with here, I'm gonna switch to gold. I'm gonna stick with the size 15. I've got this gold and black. Uh, number 15 and it's got a black and yellow tail kind of there's a fish to start first cast all right another nice fat chunky brown Wow, a lot of nice medium-sized browns here today. So I've had some people ask me about stocked fish. This may be a stocked fish, but he wasn't stocked when he was that size. The stocking that they do is typically two different types of sizes. One is brood stock, uh, and that's when they take a older fish from the hatchery, a berkey typically, but browns as well and they have um, used up their useful life at the hatchery. So it's an older fish, it's a larger fish. Typically they could be browns about 18, brookies about 16, um, and you'll see some of our area streams get those fish stocked. It's an extremely small program. A stream might get 50 18 inch browns in an entire year. So there's no way that that's causing um, much dynamic in the population and those fish maybe uh, don't even make it a full season because they're not used to naturally hunting and, and eating. Similar with the brookies they might get a hundred or fifty of them and it might only be three streams in the whole driftless that get that type of stocking. The more general stocking that occurs in Wisconsin every year in May in class two and class three streams is one of two kinds. It's either fry which are tiny fish so if that fish is a stocker he's been in here for four or five years uh, the other size is fingerling so about a three inch fish so if you don't catch a three inch fish or a fry <laughs> uh, there's no way to tell what's a stocker uh, and there's certainly um, natural reproduction here um, and this stream uh, in its entirety, I think, only gets 500 brookies and 500 browns a season, which is nothing compared to the volume of fish that's here. So certainly, certainly, that means that the natural uh, reproduction is occurring and the stocking is a supplement to the sport fishing, just as it is advertised in Wisconsin. And uh, in class three streams, um, that's where you have put and take fisheries. So there you do have 
nine inch, 10 inch brook trout because they want to put something in there uh, that someone can go with uh, their grandkids or their family and they can sit there with poles and yank out fish to eat on the opener. That typically is only in town ponds um, and other similarly suited uh, community interest type of parks, water, that type of thing. Um, so there you have it, my two cents on that. So for a few casts, I'm gonna take this rebuilt Panther Martin with a red and yellow tail, black and gold um, blade, and then I put my own hook on it, and it has the stronger uh, wire as well. So it's a converted lure. I've got another one of these silver diamond 15s with a white tail. Okay, so a viewer asked that I mention my uh, fishing rod. And so um, here's what I have. Um, and this is a um, Shimano Stratic 2500 HG reel. Um, fantastic reel. They're a bit pricey. Uh, if you don't plan on fishing a lot, you can probably get away with a cheaper alternative. I'd recommend a Penn Battle 3 uh, or a Dewa Legalis uh, or Fuego even is a nicer one. They're about 100 bucks all of them, maybe 110. Uh, I only use 10 pound Power Pro braid. This happens to be super slick. I have used all of the types of braids, folk, folks, and Power Pro is hands down the best. The rod is a Shimano um, FX, five foot five, medium, fast action, two piece rod. Very inexpensive, 13 bucks. Uh, what I love about these, and I wish uh, Ugly Stick had never gone away from the plastic uh, Teflon guides, um, these uh, handle braid completely. It never scores it, never cuts it. And even the new Ugly Sticks, the Carbon, the GX2s, the GX2 Elites, they all have now these uh, aluminum oxide uh, guides, and the braid will actually score through this top eyelet. Uh, it'll first make grooves and cuts that will snap your line. For, ter for terminal tackle, all I use is a snap to make it easy to um, put lures on and off quickly. I do not use a leader. I've never seen any reason to use one in Wisconsin. You're just putting on extra parts to waste your potential at landing a fish. Uh, also, I would not recommend a swivel. Uh, a swivel uh, inhibits the action of the spinner. Uh, the snaps do much better. Some guys use swivels uh, because they want to run monofilament or fluorocarbon. I have never had any luck uh, avoiding rat's nests with either fluoro or mono. So hopefully that helps out uh, and let's get back to fishing. Eh, let's do orange. We we'll use this multiple bead guy. There's a temper crusher. Little guy. Only caught a few dinks. Other ones have been nice fat fish. But they are around timber. That's a smash. Yeah, little seven, eight incher. Pretty fish though. Tons of fish in the timber. Jump. 
jumping brown. He's crazy. Let him go. Got the hand wet. Not a nice brown. out pretty yellow belly on that guy right at 12 I'd say that wind is vicious there's a fish on the bank cut well, I tell you Shebs and I had that same thing in common here the fish are under the banks right now. Not in much of the holes. This guy's about 11 or 12. Yeah, it's 12 incher for sure. Pretty brown. Brown, barely hooked. Link it up. Oh, he's not barely hooked. Not another 12 inch brown. Yeah, a lot of nice browns here. Pretty fish. That's a gorgeous one. There's a slightly nicer brown. He's tied himself all up. Slightly nicer. Oh wait, buddy, how the hell would you do this? There we go. Yeah, that one's looking 13. Pretty brown. Here's a nice fish, finally. Nicer brown. Ooh, didn't have my net handle. Yeah, nicer one. Looks like he goes 15. Not getting away, folks. I mean, in hell, he was getting away. Oh, God, he's so tall. No way in hell that guy was getting away. There's a nice brown. That's the one of the day for sure. He goes. 15 and 3 quarters. It's the best one of the day so far. He'll make the front page unless I get a big. Can't tell what's going on over there. I think it's all shag bush. Oh, there's a nice one. Another nice brown. Down in the timber. That's where he was. What a fat fish. What a 
fat though. What a fat so. You know what? Oh yeah, baby. This is a big fish. He's bigger. He's 16 for sure. He goes 17 and a quarter. Let's make sure 17 on the dot. Beautiful fish. That's the best one now. So, all right, this is looking up. There he goes. He is barely hooked. Came out of nowhere. Nope, he's barely hooked, but he's solidly hooked. One hook. Yeah, fine brown. 13? And here comes the sun a little bit, folks. All right. Ah, another nice one. He ain't gonna bite again. That I can guarantee you. Oh, he did. Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? I think that is the same fish. It's another bigger fish. This hooks really well. Yeah, he's hooked completely. It's another nice brown. Got him out. Let's see how bad he's bleeding. <sighs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. He hit that deep, but it's a nice fish, that's for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a nice fish again. He goes 16 and a half. Beautiful brown. Okay. I don't know how well that guy's going to do, but I did the best I could with him, folks. Not the last fish. We got a fish here, folks. Another small brown. Look at that. Small brown, eight to seven inches. <laughs> we are going to get one more fish at least. Alright folks, that's it. I'm going to call it after I get this guy off the hook.
little brown trout about 10. All right, folks. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, pretty miserable conditions for April 30th. Um, but hey, uh, not bad. Um, had a uh, fish that was 17 and a half. A um, couple of 16s, a couple of 15s. Lots of chunky 13, 12s, 11s. Um, pretty much a carbon copy the outing Shebs had in a different section of this uh, river uh, yesterday. So uh, if you saw that video, um, uh, you might notice that, uh, you know, I brought more of my fish to hand than Sheps did. You know, what can I say? Some people's kids. Uh, but in any event, thanks for watching Wisconsin Trout Fishing and happy fishing.